Sabrina here. Today I'm showing you a gold and black dramatic smoky eye. And this look was actually discovered through a makeup improv session that I had here at my table. Sometimes I'll just sit here and start putting on eyeshadows and I have a direction of where I want to go but I don't really know where it's going to take me and that's how this look came to be. So the caveat of doing an improv session with makeup is that you end up using a lot more eyeshadows than you typically would to create a look that you know what you want to create. So that's what you'll find here. And not only that, but there's a lot of blending, a lot of layering in this look. So I will put in the description box below some of the eyeshadows that you can forego or two that you can combine into one so you can save on having to use so many eyeshadows for this look. Anyway, this is a great look for evenings out, special occasions, even a Christmas party that may be coming up. Let me show you how to recreate it. First thing we're going to do for this look is set the eyes by applying an eyeshadow primer. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion today. And the first eyeshadow we're going to use in this look is Max Soft Brown. We're applying this into the crease with the Sigma E45 crease brush. For my international friends that may not be able to get a hold of Soft Brown because I know it was discontinued, Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee is a very close match. Then blend out the harsher edges of the crease color with a blending shade of your choice. I'm using Blanc Type here. From the Naked 2 palette, I'm going to be using Blackout. And I'm applying this to the inner and outer third of the lid with the MAC 239 brush. A very small deposit of color. That's all you need in these areas. And as I'm applying color to the inner third of the lid there, I'm really only using what was on the brush to begin with. And if you need to add a little bit more, then you can do that too. But a little bit goes a long way, especially with this strong black shade. And that's what you should end up with. For the gold in this look, I'm using Makeup Geek's Afterglow pigment. This is gorgeous. If you have MAC's Blonde Gold pigment, that would be another great one to use in this step. You can also use Half Baked from the Naked 2 palette as well. And we're applying this onto the middle of the lid and extending it over where we applied the black eyeshadow. So this is going to be layered over those black areas so that the black areas start to fade out a little bit more. The purpose of the black in this look is to be more of an accent shade to define the eyes on the inner and outer corners there. You don't want it to be the main focus. Then I'm taking Max Espresso eyeshadow. You can also use Urban Decay's Faint in this step. It's a very close dupe. And I'm using the Sigma E30 brush to go in and define the crease with this color. And then taking a little bit more soft brown on a fluffy crease brush, go back and really, 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 really blend espresso into the crease there. And if you need to blend the edges of that shade once again, feel free to go back with your blending shade. Next, I'm using Busted from the Naked 2 palette. You can also use Max Mystery in this step. And I'm layering this shade over Blackout. All this does is it helps to tone down that black and make it a little bit more brown so it's not as strong. Then I'm taking Urban Decay's Blackout once again with the MAC 263 brush and lining the entire lower lash line and extending a wing on the outer corner of the eye that goes up. We will be adding a wing to the top lid and so this is going to create the double wing look. For my gel eyeliner here I'm using Illamasqua's Precision Gel Liner and I'm creating a wing with this liner. Unfortunately I dipped way too far down below the camera's focal point so you can't actually see me in the footage applying the liner I couldn't use it but if you need a tutorial on how I apply my winged liner I'll put that link for you below and this is the wing that I was talking about filling in the brows with a covergirl pencil in soft blonde another look at the eyes there and then I'm taking the end of the Tarte eyeliner brush that I use for my gel eyeliner and I'm using that to smudge out the line on the lower lash line that we created so that it's a smokier effect. I'm also adding in a little bit of white eyeliner onto the waterline to help brighten the eyes up some because this is such a dark look. Not a lot, but a little bit. My falsies today are Forget Me Not from InkyMinky.com. Once again, I have a separate tutorial for false eyelashes if you're interested. And here's a close-up of how the final look with the eyes all came together. 
For my face, I typically do the same thing over and over again, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. If you wanna know the products that I used today, I'll put all that for you below in the description box. For my blush, I'm using Max Trace Gold, which is a gorgeous pinky bronze type color, and it's very subtle. Goes perfectly with this type of look. And for my lips, I'm using Max Shy Girl, which is a beautiful peach color. It's, again, subtle enough to wear with this strong eye, but adds a little bit of color into the look. Are you looking for new ways to wear your eyeshadows? Discover the only website online with pictures of combinations using the eyeshadows featured in today's look and so many more. Head on over to myeyeshadowconsultant.com and get inspired today.